on the three lines in the top left-hand corner. And I'll start with today. What you'll see here is a fictional student. Her name is Mary. I'll be able to see what today's schedule would be for her, uh, the classes that she's in, as well as her teachers. I'd also be able to get a short list of assignments that were due today, assignments that are due tomorrow, and things that might need attention. You'll also notice in the top corner, I see Mary's name with a little arrow next to it. In this demo account, I have two students, Mary and Steve. I'm their parent or guardian, if you will, for this video. If you're a parent or guardian of multiple students, you would be able to click on this toggle and see those multiple students. If your multiple students go to different schools, that's okay. Everything will be in this portal just the same. And you have a one-stop shop to be able to see the grades for how they're doing. If I'd like to, I can actually click on a specific course or class. In this case, I can click on AVID. And what I'll now see is the student's grades, uh, in this case, Mary's grades for her, this AVID class. I'd be able to see that her class is 50% classwork, homework, and organization, 25% projects, and 25% tutorials. I'll see the overall grade that the student has for those uh, specific categories. And if I click the plus sign, it'll expand out. And now I can see all the assignments that were listed. I'll be able to see the scores that Mary received on them. If something's missing, uh, this flag of missing will give a, a score of a zero, but its flag is missing. And uh, most likely that means get it handed in uh, so that way it can be taken care of. And you'll see some other flags where in this case, Mary did uh, submit a assignment late, but it was also flagged as being turned in. So there's a little bit of a feedback tool for you too. Uh, maybe you're asking Mary to get this assignment done, and now you can see from the teacher's end that it was turned in late, but it was turned in. You'll also notice a little word cloud on some assignments. Uh, teachers are able to put in comments next to the grade itself. Maybe this is some feedback about how to improve something. Maybe it was some sort of a clarification. Uh, maybe it could be an additional instruction. Uh, it's something that's optional, and it, depending on the teacher, you may have more of these comments or fewer of the comments. But again, it does help to just see what's going on. If I was to expand this assignment specifically, what I'll now be able to see is the full amount of the teacher's comments. So in this case, if there's five sentences minimum for full credit, it can be done. So Mary could go back and, and rewrite or edit or revise to get it taken care of. So if I click on back, I'm going to be back at the main screen, and I can do the same thing with the other courses. If I click on the calendar, I can see from Mary the various assignments that were due by day. So if there's an assignment due on a specific day, I'll see a dot on the calendar. And if I click on that specific day, I'll be able to see what those assignments were. This could be really helpful if maybe you had an illness in the family, uh, you had to go out of town for some sort of a family business, or whatever circumstances might be going on. Uh, you at least have certain days that might be on your mind as a family to make sure that your student made up some work. And by clicking on this calendar view, you'd be able to see what those assignments are. And then again, the scores, if it's missing or zero or what have you. If you were to click on assignments, you'll see a full list of all the assignments, regardless of class, organized by the due date to be able to go ahead and take care of as appropriate. And again, if you were to click on it, you would see maybe some more information. Lastly, you'll notice the overall grades. And so what you'll be able to see here then is gonna be the snapshots throughout the term. So the final, final grades will be at the end of the term or the semester. You'd also be able to see a progress report grade. So you can see if the student's been maintaining a grade, if a student's been improving, or if a student maybe is, is slipping a little bit. If you click on to the gradebook updates, you would see all the, the most recently updated things from the gradebook. If you click on schedule, you'd be able to see the student's overall complete schedule. Currently things are split by evens and odds, but you can at least look at the big picture of everything uh, for the student if you need to. And finally, if you click on documents, you'd also be able to access uh, report cards, progress reports too. So maybe this is something that you wanna take a look at. If you wanna see the unofficial transcript, like the big picture of the courses that the students are working on, you can see this as well. So this is all available for you. And if I wanted to check on Steve, I can do the same thing here. So the idea of this is just be able to navigate and find the classes you're looking at. If there are comments, those could be really helpful for you as a parent. The calendar can also be really helpful for you too. And, and sometimes there might be some additional details or information for you to see, uh, to know what's, what, what there is, what to be taken care of. 
as soon as a grade is entered in the grade book and saved, it would appear in, in the portal. So that's how that would work. And if you have questions, of course, uh, reach out to your teacher. Thank you.